The second operation is to wipe down the bedding coat. As we mentioned, it's important to wipe all the flats before proceeding to the corners. To wipe down corners or angles, use the corner roller and the 2-inch or 3-inch corner finisher. Remember to first prime these corner tools by applying mud to the wheels of the corner roller and then filling the cavities on the corner finisher. The corner roller beds the tape into the corner and forces out excess compound. Bisect the angle with the handle and advance in short strokes from the center out to the ends. Since the wet tape stretches a little, starting from the middle avoids wrinkles and bunching up of the tape. After rolling the corner, use the corner finisher with its ball end handle to distribute the compound evenly over the tape and feather the edges. Keep the bend of the angle position to allow for freedom of movement with the pointed end of the corner finisher forward. Bisect the angle with even pressure on both sides. The spring action of the head works effectively to compensate for corners that may be just over or under 90 degrees. These two tools finish the bedding coat, except in corners where the ceiling and wall angles meet. Use a drywall knife to detail these corners. Overnight drying and shrinking of the bedding coat is usually enough, but in cold or damp climates, complete drying may take longer. Make sure the bedding coat is dry, hard, and stable before proceeding to the next step applying the topping coat.